Do you have free will? Or is it everything predestined? What do you think? It's both. It's both. And here's a simple analogy of how it works. If you buy a ticket to fly from New York City to London and you get on the plane, the plane takes off, you're destined, unless there's a crash, you're destined to arrive in London some hours later. You can't change that. You can't get off the plane. You can't do anything about that. So that's predestined at that point. But how you behave on the plane is your free will. You could close your eyes and meditate. You could read a spiritual book and get inspired. You could have a sincere conversation with the passenger sitting next to you. Or you could drink those little bottles of alcohol until it sounds like you're speaking in tongues. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. And that's your free will. But that free will, how we express our free will, determines our destiny within this cycle of predestiny. It, term, it determines what happens to us within this cycle of predestined cycle. More specifically, we're on Earth. We've been born on Earth. We got a ticket, um, fortunately it's a round trip ticket. We came here and we're going to go back. So it's how we behave here. It's just like how we behave on the plane. We can do anything. And it's either going to uplift us or it's going to drop us. It's going to raise our consciousness or it's going to dull our consciousness. It's going to help us understand and raise our awareness to find out who we are or we're going to go into oblivion. And by oblivion I mean subconscious living and not really know who you are or why you're living, what's your purpose. All these things, all these things can be brought about by how you behave with your free will during your predestined journey, and I mean incarnation. Now more specifically about our free will, how we use our free will creates karma, good or bad. So, and this is the case in every lifetime, so some of our experiences in this lifetime are karmic laws of cause and effect, cause and effect. We've done a cause in a previous lifetime, in this lifetime the effect's coming. So definitely we have to face that effect. But again, how we choose to respond to that, our free will of how we respond to that, determines everything. Determines how, if we're happy or sad. How our life turns out is said not so much by all the things that happen to us, but, but just by the part of how we react to that. How we respond? Do we respond with anger, hatred? Do we fight it? Do we just crash and burn? Do we try to understand the lesson that these experiences in life are given us? All this is our free will. And by our free will, we cast our destiny. Not only in this lifetime, but in the worlds to come after we have the death of the material body, the worlds beyond Earth, and then back on Earth in a future reincarnation. All this is in our hands. We don't realize how much control we have because no one's told us. In school, we don't get this kind of teaching. We don't get this kind of information. But this information is putting the power back in our hands. And we should use it wisely.